Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about VMware Cloud Foundation top 20 use cases. So before we understand the top 20 use cases, let's quickly recap VCF ecosystem or environment on which environment we can run the VCF. We we'll quickly recap and then I will talk about the top 20 use cases. And there are plenty of use cases with interest of our time. I'll just cover only the top 20 use cases. So VCF ecosystem or environment on which environments we can run the VCF means we can run it in an on premises private cloud and edge location and we can run it in hybrid cloud and also the public cloud locations. So normally for on premises data center or edge location private cloud, it's completely managed by customer and the main partner authorized partners are Dell and HPE Havlet Packet Enterprise and HPE only the first vendor to release the composable infrastructure on VCF. So VCF can run on composable infrastructure which is HPE Synergy frames and HPE Synergy frame is nothing but a better blade. So we can run the multiple compute modules. We can run the ESXi on top. We can, when we are using VCF means it's a complete software stack running with the vSphere, vSAN, NSX, and also the vRelate suit. Okay, and not only limited to these two principal vendors, we can also support for so many other third party vendors as well. And all are the authorized VMware certified partners only. So all the, vendors we can also when the specific vendor hardware we can run the vcf software stack and let's come to the vmware manage specifically to the hybrid cloud environment the products are vmware cloud on aws that is vmware managed and vmware cloud on dell emc also managed by vmware but here our customers taking care of only the workload vms and the rest of hardware everything is taken care by vmware only and when it comes to the partner manage, the partner manage partner only taking care of all the infrastructure and the customer has to play, pay only for the usage bills, specifically for the virtual machines as a service model or pay as you go models. And the, when we come talk about the use cases, there are plenty of use cases that use cases. Maybe if you take uh, take any of the one authorized vendor like a HPE, uh, HPE specifically to HPE, there are so many integrations with VCF, like VCF running on Synergy and VCF running on any of the HPE storage solutions like HPE 3 par HPE Primera storage, Nimble, and also the Alatra. so many integration options are available with VCF software stack. All these integrations are considered as a use cases only. So similar scenario for other vendors also. So each vendor have some specific use cases. So it will be like a, so many use cases. So, but with interest of our time, I'm just focusing on the top 20 use cases. And this use cases also, let's segregate it into a four categories. The first main use case is data center modernization. And that means whatever we are doing the existing traditional architecture, the completely, when we are using VCF, it's completely a modern data center infrastructure. And another one is modern application. That is also one use case for the VCF. And the VCF also providing the distributed workspace and it is also running on a hybrid cloud and multi-cloud environments. So within these four categories, let's talk about your specific use cases. Let's say within the data center modernization and the main use case is data center consolidation and infra standardization. That means suppose in our earlier vSphere is a standard working like a siloed product separate to vSphere administrators only taking care and vSAN and also the storage is taken care by storage administrator and the NSX is taken care by network administrator. But when it comes to the VCF, it's a complete software stack combined all the products. So that means now VSP VMware admin also can take care of VCF. That means infra is standardized and even the administration is easy administration. But how we are managing all these products within a single console means we require a product name called STDC manager. STDC manager is one of the component of VCF. So that is one example for this use case and another scenario. 
new greenfield data center so yes exactly this is a greenfield data center when we are using a vcf before vcf all are in a siloed environment even if you want to do the update or upgrade or if you want to do troubleshooting and all it's like a completely a siloed approach now the completely a within a single console we can able to manage all the infrastructure component specifically to the virtual infrastructure component and another use case hardware refresh servers and storage suppose our customer one of our customers servers are going to end of support normally the servers comes with a three years or five years end of support and the storage also have a end of support for five years so when you are planning for a refresh of your existing infrastructure that scenario also we can we can position our vcf software stack solution okay and that is a uh, also one of the use case and another scenario is consolidate legacy infra to lower cost and simplify operations so in our traditional uh, infrastructure we are using all applications running on a single server either a physical machine or virtual machine that means it's a monolithic architecture and few applications running in a tier based architecture that means it's a divide into web up, uh, one application we can run web server web separate vm and application separate vm database separate vm that means it's a three tier architecture but now the latest technology is completely changed the architecture application definition has changed to the microservice architecture and also function as a service and all this and all can be possible only with this vcf solution and it will also help you to reduce the cost that means operation expenditure is reduced and operations also simplified operations uh, simplified operation means because one of our main key component is life cycle manager so life cycle manager will help you to simplify our day to operations now another use case is cloud native application de development or new container development that means within our vcf we have two options normally this software stacks include vSphere so we can configure vSphere with the tanju that is one method and another method we can configure tanju on vcf directly we can enable the tanju feature using vcf so that it will allows you to run uh, together with virtual machine we can run our containerized applications like we can deploy the supervisor cluster first and followed by we can deploy tanju kubernetes clusters so kubernetes cluster consists of container based applications only that is the one important use case and also the application refactoring another use case and the self service deployment self service development sorry so self service development means whatever we are deploying the tkc normally it's a manual method even if you want to automate this one within a vcf we have a concept called v relay automation so using v relay automation once you set up the supervisor cluster and then when we integrate this vcf uh, vcf with v relay automation like how we integrate is we need to uh, integrate with the vcenter server we need to integrate with uh, nsx and also the virtual sand when we integrate all these components with v relay automation there is a, one of the component in our vsp v relay automation is service broker using service broker even customers can provision the tanju kubernetes cluster automatically that is also one of the use case in a vcf and another th point is secure infra that keeps a head of business growth correct and another point is even vmware horizon that means virtual desktop infrastructure can run on vcf and ready scale vda deployments and increase the security another use case and create a vcf management compartment and workload compartment on hpe synergy so this is also one of the use case and another thing is create virtual infrastructure workloads on hpe storage solution one of the example is primera normally vmware recommend that we have a two domains management domain workload domain so management domain it recommended to use virtual sand storage and workload domain either we can use the storage solution as a virtual sand or vmware also given a flexibility to use any of the third party storage solution so i given example is hp storage solution primera or we can use tripar or hp nimble alatra any of the storage devices
okay uh, for this specifically for the workload environment virtual infrastructure workload environments and another use case is business continuity and disaster recovery here the example is let's say we are using a vmc on aws virtual vmware cloud on aws that means your workloads are running on on premises and some workloads running on a disaster recovery site aws you can also make it as a disaster recovery site or business continuity site okay so our critical production workloads we should keep it on a on premises and the whatever the vms you require for a disaster recovery those vms you can replicate it to a aws location that means so we are using our vmc on aws solution is supported for vcf and the same solution we are using for a business continuity and dr and another use case application and workload migration same like how we are doing the disaster recovery similarly even your application we can flexibly we are deploying a container based application so that means it's a just a small package we can run we can run easily on on premises or you can lift and shift it to the public cloud or vice versa that is the application and workload migrations you can migrate workload from your on premises to public cloud or public cloud to on premises and another use case is cloud repatriation even not only limited to application workload any of the repatriation if you want to do in the cloud environment we can do with this solution and another scenario is last but not the least the cloud operating model manages workload specifically on on premises edge location and any cloud so any cloud we already observed in the ecosystem it can be on a vmware cloud aws or you can use partner platforms like azure google cloud ibm or any other vcpp supported vendors okay so these are all the top 20 vcf use cases but before going for your provisioning me mechanism and all in the later session i first give you the version history and then we'll talk about a vcf implementation methods okay so that's it Thank you. If you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnant Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.